Welcome to session 5, testing our backend and handling errors. In this session, we are going to leverage the power of Postman and Newman to test our APIs. We are going to learn how to validate the request information and we are going to be handling errors and returning appropriate responses to the client. Okay, in this video, we are going to be writing API tests using Postman and Newman. In detail, we're going to look how to create Postman collections, how to use Postman to test our APIs, and how to use Newman to run Postman collection with tests. Postman collections. So let's go and open Postman. Postman collections allows to group a set of requests to run tests or to use Hapit for records. Okay, so let me show you an example. Let's go to the collection tab and create a new collection and let's call it employee collection okay perfect now let's add a request okay so this request we're going to call it create employee and we're going to save it into employee collection click save okay so let's change first the method to post because we're going to create a resource then we're going to place holder called url this in postman is called environment variable and the path employee as we know this is the path we're going to use to create a resource on the server in this case an employee now let's create environment call hr local emb and this is going to be the environment that is going to hold all our environment variables for our collection in this case the key is going to be url and the value is going to be localhost 8080 we click add okay perfect now we select environment hr local environment okay perfect you can see the variable change from red to orange because now we have defined the environment variable on our postman collection now let's create a body for our request let's change the type to json and uh, we have done in previous tests let me check from history perfect let's just copy and paste okay so here we're creating an employee with id 123 his name is all age 23 department it and salary 100. perfect so let's go and run our test our collection and perfect you can see this is the same that we have done before so now let's create a new request okay so let's go here and create a get request we're going to use the placeholder url and then employee and the id one two three right and let's call this get employee and we save it into employee clutch and you can see we get the the request the nice about this is now we have a group together so we don't have to write it every time that we open postman we save it into a postman collection now let's run a test with the postman collection postman is pretty useful to create tests especially because it has a ui interface for example in our current employee we can see the status is 201 right so we go go to test tab and create a test for the response code code is 200 here postman has some snippets that are pretty useful so you don't have to remember how to write the test and we can change the test name to status code is 201 and we can place the status to expect to be 201 so when we run our collection we can see this new test results one of one we click it and we can say that if it passed or if it failed and we can see the status code is 201 if we change it to 200 and we save we can see that it failed assertion expected response to have a status code 200 but got 201 this is pretty nice, especially when your API gets very dense and you want to test many fields, you can use Postman for testing. Okay, if we place another create employee, another get employee, right? Request. Let's say that on our get employee, we are having a test to always expect the same employee that we created before. To be present right that's the correct functionality right if, if you create an employee with name alberto right you're expecting that 
every time that you get the resource, we create the employee with, I mean, the ID, you are always going to get Alberto. So you don't want to allow the client to override the resource without authorization of the backend, right? So this is what we're going to show you. So we have to get employee, one, two, three, perfect. And we can create a test to save the name and the ID. Let's go to the snippets and see response body json body check perfect so you can place name is albert right and here we are parsing the json data we can put this outside because we're going to be using this two times and we can say that name equals alp right it's all and uh, it's a string so let's put the string in JavaScript is with this perfect and we can create another test saying that we're expecting the ID one two three right ID one two three and ID one two three it's a number okay perfect now let's copy these two same tests on the next one now this should be true all the time right even if we create a new employee we should be getting up right all the time one to three because that's what the client created the first time so ideally this request shouldn't be allowed right writing one to three and another call peter another resource copy peter right because the id should collide so let's see what happens right now let's go and let's use this functionality from the employee collection that's called run Basically, with a collection runner, you can run collections and run all the tests attached to them in just pressing one button. So let's go to employee collection. We can see our four collections here. We place the environment to use HR local M and we run our employee collection. And we see an error here. Okay, so let's see what happened we can see that the name is out fail and the name is one to three fail okay so let's go to the test and let's run it ourselves manually and we can see that the two tests fail so oh first this is should be id my bad okay let's see again now if we run it again we can see that the ID is passing, right? Because the ID is one, two, three. If we see the body request, the ID is one, two, three, but the name is Peter. The problem is that we create an employee, right? We name all on one, two, three. We get the employee all with one, two, three on the get the employee request, and it's okay. But then we create another employee with ID one, two, three. But in this case, we place a number as Peter, and we are allowing it, right? We we'll run again. We are creating the resource 201. But then when we try to get a alt again, we see that we get Peter. And uh, this is a problem. And we are going to fix it on the next video when we learn about letting the backend create the ID for us. So we don't let the client manage the IDs, or basically the primary key on our database. Okay. But that's it for now. So we learned how to use this nice UI Postman to test our collection, create tests, right? And it's pretty useful. Sometimes we just wanted to do it fast or on the terminal. And in this case, the people behind Postman created a tool called Newman that we installed on the first videos when we were setting up our environment. So in order to use Newman, we first have to export our collection into a file. And we're gonna save it, documents, Newman our collection and we also have to save our environment that has defined all the variables that we're using on our collection in this case the url okay perfect now let's go to the terminal and we're going to execute newman the name of the collection then the flag environment the dash e and then the environment name and we run it oh i forgot to add the run name the the command run perfect so postman run and we can see that there are four requests in the employee collection and we can see that the first one passed fine the second one failed the name right 
and the third one failed the name too and the problem is because we are overriding the resource the same id but we change the name to peter we can see that we have six assertions right six tests and to fail we can see the total duration of the test the total data received their average response time so this is more technical data used for testing that is more important for the engineers itself than the people testing the api like qa engineers but you can see here a uh, detail why the assertion fell and this is pretty nice because you can use it also with continuous integration servers like jenkins for testing your bills every time okay so that was it for this video